Another day with well, a lot to like, it seemed like. What did you like the most about today? Uh, Isaac Aon's pitching performance, he was in command of it, and the pitching in general was really good. You know, when Isaac passes the ball off to, you know, to Caleb Sloan, and then uh, and Scott Ellis was okay, and I thought that the youngster uh, Hughes at the end of the game looked and, uh, you know, really looked good out there. Um, and that's a couple of times now in a row where Hughes has looked really good, and so that's been fun to see young people handle adversity but you know and obviously scoring runs is fun you know and so people who come to the field and they want to see offense they got to see offense today they they got to see good pitching and good defense it was it was a well-rounded deal when Isaac was cruising early was that the best version of him that you've seen in a game maybe um for a for an extended period maybe um you know scrimmages he's been crushing it um, and then there were stretches last year where he was unhittable. Um, and then today he just was more efficient with his pitches and it just seemed like he was in better control of his body. I think you mentioned Friday coming off last week wanting to just be maybe a little more aggressive on the bases, just be smarter on the bases. It seemed like you guys took a lot of bases. They call them free bases, but you gotta, you got to work for them advancing on wild pitches, reading, reading balls in the dirt, things like that. How much of an impact do you feel like that had today? Well, I thought that had a negative impact on us last week, and I thought the team we played last weekend it, uh, did a nice job on that. And I think our guys saw that and saw how, um, you know, it can be a real benefit offensively and a real crusher on the other side of the ball when you're playing defense and they're doing that stuff. And and it's not um, it's not being combated by throwing guys out, basically blocking and recovering and stuff like that. So yeah, we were able to steal some bases, advance on some balls in the dirt. Um, ultimately, you know, it comes down to a free base deal, and there was a lot of looseness um, with walks and stuff like that that give us opportunities to have base runners. But I was really pleased with how they ran the bases. They were aggressive, and they have been aggressive now for three days. A little different offensive approach today. No home runs, but lots of lots of singles, lots of doubles string together. You know, what did you see from your offense? Uh, I think that overall their swings were had been really short on the weekend. Um, you know, we didn't no no home runs. Um, but still, a lot of really good quality at bats, and you know we were just able to run the bases well enough to where we could, you know, just continue an offensive uh, deal all game long. It just seemed like we kept scoring runs, maybe not by the bunches where we're scoring eight or ten in an inning, but um, you know a couple of innings got away from them a little bit, and we were uh, had some bigger innings. But it, other than that, we were always able to to manufacture a run here and there, and that was really good to see a sustained offense. Tomorrow maybe a test of seeing if you guys weren't just satisfied winning the weekend that can, can close it out the right way? Uh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you know, we're playing at home and uh, you want to, it's a gorgeous facility, just an awesome facility. We're starting to get a home crowd, uh, you can tell, and, and some people starting to show up and get pretty excited about it. Um, and that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of that has to do with us. We need to put a quality product out there, and when we do, then I think people are going to come. This is a huge sports town. They want to see good baseball. And as long as we're providing that, I know the place is going to be packed. And it's starting to get exciting for that. I think the guys are feeling that. And uh, they're excited for tomorrow. Cromick got the start and right today. Did you like how he looked out there? Could we see more of that going forward? Oh, Josiah is a heck of a player. You know, he can play a lot of places. He can play on the infield, too, first base, third base. I mean, the, the guy's a heck of an athlete. You know, the re only reason why he wasn't in the lineup more last year is he had some injuries, you know, and it kept him out of there. He swings a heck of a bat. I don't think he had quite the day-to-day -day offensively that we've seen now that he's capable of, but he fills up the box in, in, uh, in his hitting. You know, he's always in there, very competitive out at the dish, and my goodness, he can really go get the ball in the outfield. He's got a plus throwing arm. He can provide a lot of different things for us, and it's I'm happy he's here. He's a really good kid and a really good baseball player. Also, Colby Shade, I know I asked about him yesterday, but he's gone base, I think, 11 straight times now. You, just, you have to be filled with, with how he's played this series. Yeah, he's done really well, you know, and he's keeping it simple. I know his uh, mom made the trip from Colorado, and so I'm glad that he's able to to play well for his mom, Leslie, and, and that's really exciting, you know, when you're, you're playing and – your family's there watching and stuff like that. And we've got fans now. They're allowed to be here. They're allowed to, to just enjoy the ballpark uh, just like it was before the pandemic. And thank goodness we're back to that place. With the way he's starting out these last couple of weeks with, you know, Drew and Brennan and those guys, I mean, you, you are you kind of cautiously optimistic because a lot of the work you put in off season in the fall helped some guys, I mean, really take big jumps in terms of their production. I mean, it seems like some guys who, you know, like a role player, last year or maybe a guy who was scuffling a little last year you've got several examples of guys who really look like they're locked in to start this year i 
I think that's a good observation, Rob. I think that is something that we try to focus on as being a player development program. And, you know, we like to think that we um, can help somebody and, and we really do invest a lot of time and effort in the development of the players. We love our guys. You know, we, we, we love the fact that to see Josh Kasovich and Gavin Grant and these guys just really putting quality at bat after quality at bat after basically being great defenders their entire careers and now you see great defenders that are really really good hitters as well that's player development that's jack martyr that's uh, marcus Hinkle, you know uh, brett thomas on the analytics piece he gives those guys information where those guys can develop a plan and i think you see that on the field coach angier he's one of the best out there anywhere uh, for sure i mean he's just outstanding with pitching so yeah it's a fun staff to be around on a daily basis and they're really good at developing players what did you see from Kasovich today? Obviously against San Diego, not his preferred series, but today he has four RBIs. He's got his back going a lot. What did you see from him overall? He got his back going the last day down in San Diego. For me, I mean, the bat's great, and we're excited about that. He's clutch. He's always been clutch. But the biggest thing for me with uh, with him is just uh, leading. And so defining leader, leading is just controlling what you do well and bringing that to the table and not trying to be extra or extra, you know, trying to do extra things that you're not capable of. He's leading the field. He's playing great defense and just giving us a good solid at bat and simplifying it to that. I think that's helped him a lot. Um, you know, I'm happy for the kid. He's a really, really good kid and he's a great player.